This is Chirk Station in Wrexham County, near the Welsh-English border. In Welsh it's pronounced a wine. The name Chirk itself is apparently comes from a mispronunciation of the Welsh Cariog, which is the nearby valley. The station was opened in 1848 and became part of the Great Western Railway system, lying on the Shrewsbury to Chester line. The station on the English side is Gobowen, on the Welsh side of Riabon. It's a busy station with around 75,000 passenger journeys a year prior to Covid. Trains and connections run from here to Holyhead, Wrexham, Chester, Shrewsbury, Birmingham and Cardiff. The original listed buildings of the station were demolished in 1987 without consultation. However, the station does have a Friends of Chirk Station group, who do a great deal to maintain and to enhance the infrastructure that remains. Joining the station is the Glyn Valley Tramway Station, originally opened in 1888, closing to passengers in 1933 and to freight in 1935. This station recently is undergoing restoration by the Glen Valley Tramway Trust, and this is covered in a separate video. There were transshipment sidings here, the Glen Valley Tramway being narrow gauge, and goods were exported, that is the granite and slate, by the Santa Cruz Railway. The Chirk Aqueduct and the Chirk Tunnel on the Clangotlan Canal lie very nearby. These had once carried the slate and the granite, which the railway eventually took over. On the ribbon side, the station is somewhat dominated by a very large pedestrian access bridge um, designed to allow wheelchairs to reach the station. There used to be a private siding nearby where chocolate ingredients were prepared before being sent off by train to Cadbury's Bourneville. There is still a large industrial complex nearby. The major factory here is produces chipboard. Softwood timber is delivered by train, anything up to eight trains a week. One source, now ceased, was the old Teen Valley Railway at Heathfield Station. This was the last source of traffic for that line. On the side of the line running down towards England is the very impressive Chirk Viaduct. Next to it stands the Chirk Aqueduct on the Langotland Canal, which has been reopened. When it was constructed, it was the highest railway aqueduct in the world. The western portal of the Chirk Canal Tunnel of the Hellingotland Canal lies very close to the station. This was unusual in being the run of the very first to have a towpath running through it so the boats could be hauled through by horse, rather the old practice of the workers lying on their backs on the roof of the canal boats and using their feet to it through. 